part the three. school for the boys is Longfellows. <laughs> oh, right. God, no. Right. Lord have mercy. That's the name of the Longfellows Academy. So oh, I guess short fellas don't qualify. Oh, 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 oh low blow. Oh. Low blow. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't help it. It was just too good to resist. But. Listen, 481 481 It's a hot topic. We want to know what you have to say. We want to know what you feel about this. This is so important because, as the young Lucky said earlier, it's the hurting the church. It's hurting the church tremendously because young people are going, man, I ain't going up and off in that, mm-hmm. especially because they bashing my sister because she gave, and then mm-hmm. the preacher screwing mm-hmm. the little boys. We right. got bust online. Buster, are you there? Hi, Buster. How you doing? What's going on, man? Not much, man. You got a question or comment? Welcome. I, I, I guess I got. I got a comment. <laughs> I guess I want to comment. <laughs> <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh, y'all live on the radio? Yes, yes, live, 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 all the way live. <laughs> Did, did, did he do it though? Did he do it? They just released a videotape of him. It was this a sex tape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said it was a sex tape just got dropped two minutes ago. Well, where where, where, where did they drop it at? Where, where, it's, where, on, where, um, uh, it's on mediatakeout.com. Mediatakeout.com. So somebody go look at it right quick and call us back. Oh, call us get back and let us know. Because <laughs> no, now, with his kind of money, he can do an R. Kelly and say, yep. that ain't me. Those are your lying eyes. <laughs> but I, thought, I, thought he was, I thought he was in a uh, 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 sex tape with uh, Nicki Minaj. What? what? Oh no! That's too much. It yo. is going down. That's too much. Yo. On 1400. He yeah. said he was this morning. He, he, uh, Bishop Eddie Long tweeted himself that he was butt naked under his robe this morning. So he. Oh my naked. goodness! No, man. no. Oh. Okay, no. we they listen, Buster. Thank you for calling. We got Ebony on the line. Ebony, you got a question or comment, sweetie? Welcome. Yes. Hi, I'm Ebony. Hi. We asked what I said. I do have a comment. You guys are talking, and I don't um, disagree with what you're saying about being judgmental to gay Mm -hmm. um, people, but in the Bible, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. So are you saying that we should condone people being gay? Like, is that acceptable? Do you eat shellfish? You eat crab? I do not. No, I don't. Do you? I I recently, I mean, I just stopped because I know um, my friend told me that in the Bible we should not. That it. Okay. Do you you wear? Do you wear rayon? Do I wear rayon? Uh Do you Um, wear mixed cotton? Do you wear uh, a mixed fabric? Uh, Yes, I do. See, but the thing of it is, it's almost impossible, sweetheart, for us to take the Bible literally. It is. There's so many things in there. Like, if you have, do you have children, Ebony? I do. And the by in the Leviticus it says, if your child is bad, you can take your child to the priest, and he can stone your child. Would you allow that to happen? No. No, you wouldn't. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. So some things we just got to be realistic about. No, I understand being realistic, but you guys are saying that we should not. Now we cannot be judgmental against anyone. Yeah, like we are Jesus. not the judges. Right. But. We do not have to uh, proudly accept homosexuality. Why and don't it you? Is, it's your, it's your and it's brother. very prominent in the community. But, but wait a minute. But aren't they human beings? Yes. Did okay. Jesus? Did, did, God. did Jesus say who to love? He said, "Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, heart, your mind, your spirit, and love your neighbor as yourself." It didn't say if your neighbor wasn't somebody that you didn't agree with, you didn't like the way they no. look, they talk. He said just to love them. And see, that's what the church has done. They have created an us and a them mentality. So. People People would see a, a little kid like that man that shook that baby to death, that 18 month mm-hmm. old baby, because he said the baby was acting gay at 18 months oh, old. Oh, wow. I know this is the hatred. This is how sweet and good, deep it goes, Ebony. You just got to learn, man, God is going to work it out. He said, let the wheat grow with the chaff, and he's going to be the judge of it. But if right. we do it, people's lives are hurt, people's lives right. are injured. Right. And you know, nobody in their right mind, Ebony, would be gay if they couldn't help it because you could lose your life for being gay. Yeah. People mm-hmm. will try to kill you because you're gay. So believe me, it is not something that people want to do because they want to do it. It's not a choice, sweetheart. Listen, thank you so much for calling. I hope we've done something to, to help you understand that it's you, just important. You have, you have, and I do not have hatred towards gay people. I just wish they would turn from those ways. But do you, mm-hmm. can you change the color of your skin? No. Well, they can't change their sexuality. Thank you so much for calling. Listen, you're listening to Spirit 1400, Patrick Henderson's Meet the People with Wayne Alexander, Lamitra Parker Henderson, and Desi Alexander. Any more head breaking news, guys? Well, I, I ain't getting nothing just this second, but the whole thing is if we say that we're not going to be judgmental, there is no but. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. There is Either no but. Either you are or you're not. Either you are or you're not. And that's not mm-hmm. my position. I'm not here that's to right. judge gay people. Right. You know what I mean? That, the judging is for God. 
So, mm-hmm. you know, we, we got to think twice about a lot of the things that we say and what we act upon in, in retrospect to what we were taught by religion. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? That orientation, man, that keeps separating <laughs> them. They're our fellow human beings. Let me make sure you keep saying, and this has been blessing me. If I meet you and I'm to see the God in you, then that means mm-hmm. there's a God in me who wants to see the God in you. That's so I'm right. going to accept you unless you go pull out a switchblade or something and try to kill me. Right. Then I'm going to run. Right, That's right. right. Even, right. even in... Even in this, even in like the, the, I guess the gay whole situation, it's not about judging. It's about just disagreeing. I disagree with gay people, of course. Yeah. I'll disagree a hundred percent, but I'm not judging them. I have gay family members, gay cousins. I don't care. I don't agree with what you're doing, and I don't care to even know. <laughs> right. I know it's what your I own like. Personal, right. I have my own, you know, mm-hmm. fantasies mm-hmm. that my girl takes mm-hmm. care of. I'm a man. I know who I, I can look myself in the mirror and say I know what I like. But mm-hmm. as far as judging, I don't care what you do. I have nothing. That's too much energy. I'm too busy to judge gay people. Yeah. Gay people are the funniest people ever. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> the the flamboyant ones. You just be dying laughing at. It's as funny as I don't know what. But you just. I don't care. It's like just be you. I mean, right. It doesn't like, stop your life. It does not stop my life. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Let me get you, go ahead. I was thinking about the part in the Bible where it say. Slaves obey your master? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, do people really believe that? No. They, yeah, they believe it. That, that's in the Bible. They believe that. I mean, but yeah. a lot of it is still uh, 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 coming from 13th century uh Philosophers and ministers right. and Ab- people absolutely. that were sexist and racist and yeah. you know what I mean, Henry hypocrites and, you know what I mean? King James. Yeah. and King James. James. You know? the Bible. And, but wait a minute! But the Bible says, "Don't when they called him, he called him rabbi, called him master." He says, "Oh, hold up!" Jesus mm-hmm. said, "Hold up! Uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm not your master." He mm-hmm. said, "Cause the master don't tell the servant what he's gonna do." He says, "I'm telling you, I'm going to prepare a place for you there where you can be with me." Also, I am your friend. Mm-hmm. I am your friend. I am mm-hmm. not your master. But they use slave that scripture to keep us enslaved mm-hmm. for yes, hundreds please. of years. Yes. And people say, yes. well, it's in the Bible. There's a whole lot of stuff in the Bible, in the Bible. you all. Mm-hmm. That don't mean that we got to do it because if we do it, it would be get, you would get arrested. Uh, 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 Ebony, I don't know if you're still listening, but if you did that to your child, you took your child, they, they did that to your child, would they put you in jail? Yes, they put the priest mm-hmm. in jail and they'd probably electrocute you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For child mm-hmm. abuse, mm-hmm. so we can't. You know, you just got to not think about these things. You got to think about them, but you cannot actually believe that these things are real. Because if you do, you will end up in a state of misery, a mm-hmm. state of fear, and that's where mm-hmm. the, some churches want to keep you. If you don't do this, you're gonna die and yep, go to yep. hell. Those fear, mm-hmm. those uh, I call them um, hell sellers. Hell like um, <laughs> and, and Eddie Long is one of them. Yes. Do you know what I mean? They 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 skip. And one of the most famous ones is the guy Chris Simpson. Is another guy, Pastor Edwards. They are famous for saying things that will scare you into church yes, you know what i mean yes. i mean and, and they believe and they preach that everybody's going to hell regardless <laughs> the only way to, to to not go to go to hell is by praying and asking god every day of your life but other than that you're doomed to go to hell so god come is a loving out of, god out of he's the a wilderness. forgiving god right. what, what'd you say desi the out of the world is pro- out of the wilderness project <laughs> out of the wilderness <laughs> well Eddie listen Long. god is love <laughs> And if God is nothing else, he is love. Because I'm telling you, I don't care how bad your child is. I don't care what he's done to the world. Is that still your child? Yes, yep. it is. If you that child, you birthed that child, you still love that child, you say he got mm-hmm. a little lost. Mm-hmm. But that's mm-hmm. still my child. Would you go send him to hell? Would you right. send him? You don't even want to send him to detention. You mm-hmm. don't want to send him nowhere. No. You want it. And that's the way God is with us, you guys. Yeah. Stop thinking that God is going to beat you up for stuff. Y'all know he ain't. Y'all just lying to yourselves. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. he not. He not going to beat you up for stuff. He forgives you because he wants that's what he wants you to do to each other and to yourself right, right. is to forgive one another. But that's we're right. walking around here, God, Sodom, and Gomorrah, Sodom, and Gomorrah, my foot. And, that's right. mm-hmm. and, and there was some scientific facts that say that, uh, um, you know, it, it was more of a scientific reason that Sodom and Gomorrah had. I ain't going to get off into all of that, but, Listen, you know, it's a lot of stuff. scientific whatever it is, it yeah. was a time period for what happened then, and mm-hmm. it wasn't about they was beautiful angels. They said that wasn't the only thing they was doing up in there. They was mm-hmm. finna send their daughters in there to them. Who was sending their daughter in there for a stranger to screw? Right. Give me a yeah. break, right. and that's supposed to be so honorable. Mm-hmm. Listen, right. you all, we love you guys. We're praising God for each and every one of you. We hope that our show is doing something to lift you up, to encourage you, to enlighten you, to let you know that that, that, that not only is, is God real, but we need to be real with one another. Yes, Say sir. goodbye, Wayne. Goodbye, y'all. Y'all next, have a good next week. Next Sunday, comedy show, Tommy Davidson at 550 Dundalk Avenue, y'all. I'm, I'm being there gigging out, so I'll let him. Bye, Lemitra. See you, Lemitra. Bye, guys. Listen, All right, Baltimore. You guys, effective October the 1st. You can't use that cell phone. $1,000 fine. We'll fill you in next week. God bless you. Have a great week. <laughs>